To modify the wire arc silencer, you'll need a 7mm Allen key that fits into the end cap, the exit end. Simply unscrew the end cap. Inside you will find a series of hair curlers and plain washer baffles. There is a long baffle like that, a shorter one, about half the size, and then a long one. And either side of the short one there is a plain washer to act as a baffle. Wrapped around these hair curlers is a piece of felt. What I've done to modify is quite simple really. Inside you can just about see it, the white. What I've done, got a piece of felt that is normally wrapped around it, the outside of the hair curler like that. And what I've done, I've just trimmed down along the end across the width to make it small enough so you have a part that will go inside. It's approximately just over half the total width so you lose about maybe a third of it. Just over half and it fits inside. And then another piece of felt goes around the outside and you just simply slide it back into the silencer. An alternative to that, if you haven't got an extra piece of felt, is quite simply, instead of a long piece, to cover the full length you trim it in about half so as you can see it's about half the, the length one part you wrap around as standard the other half you do the same you trim just over half of it down and place it inside as you can see there's a piece of felt inside but only half of the hair curler has got it so about that much and the other half you have on the outside like that so you have a series of baffles either method the long one with half the felt on the outside half the felt on the inside do the same with the short one do the same with the long one or double up the felt some inside some wrap around the outside again with the short one and the other long one. There's other material you can use as well. Some people say pan scarer. I find though if you try to trim this down and roll it up to fit on the inside it doesn't do a very good job. But as an alternative you could wrap it around the outside and use the original felt on the inside. However I haven't tried this for this particular experiment. If you have a lathe and other machine working tools you can with Delrin, this is only a prototype, only part finished, you can make your own baffles, you can use aluminium, drill holes in the middle, have the correct diameter obviously this is far too large for a wire arc silencer it's for something completely different but there's plenty of ways to experiment with any sort of silencer but just for now I'm going to do a test and we'll see where we'll get on I'm now going to do a very simple test I'm going to put it on my air rifle I have four silencers here or wire arc. That one is completely standard. This one has the felt cut in half, half out on the outside, half on the inside. This one has been double felt, so there's a piece of felt on the inside and there's felt on the outside. This one has got a completely different modification to it. This has been converted to use for the rim fire. But I'm going to use it as a comparison. I shall do one shot without a silencer, two shots with a standard boy rock silencer, two shots with the felt cut in half, two shots with the double felt, and two shots with this modified silencer 
and then I shall do a further single shot without a silencer again. And let's see how they compare. Well, after that little test, I've come to the conclusion it's not worth getting some extra felt and putting some on the inside and on the outside. It's not worth the effort of cutting the felt in half to put some inside and some on the outside, so you've only got a half felt system. I take it that it's best to leave the silencer alone. You can't really do much about it. I've done other quite a few different modifications internally to the one that I've done to the firearms but it involves removing these curlers so you could almost say it's a completely different silencer. For now I think I'm going to be quite happy with just the standard Y-Rock silencer. I'll just remind you of the order that I use them in for the little test with the rifle. First of all the standard silencer then one with the felt cut in half and put inside and on the outside then the double felt and then the silencer are modified for rimfire use and I think you'll agree with me out of the lot unless you're going to modify it completely the standard silencer was just about the best you can get